It is one of the world's biggest and most ambitious scientific experiment in human history. From revealing what happened in the moments after the Big Bang, to investigating the fundamental nature of matter, the Atlas experiment could unlock many secrets of the universe, even of our existence itself. Everything around us is matter. We are made of matter. Matter on Earth is atoms. Atoms are electrons orbiting around the nucleus, which in turn is merely made up of protons and neutrons. Inside these, we find quarks. All these particles were created at the birth of the universe, a fraction of a second after the Big Bang, about 13.7 billion years ago. By recreating conditions that existed just after the Big Bang, scientists hope to answer the crucial question, why was matter created in the first moments of the universe, making our existence possible? To answer this question, scientists need to understand why particles have mass and what the state of matter was just after the Big Bang. Today, our best guess is described in the so-called standard model. It answers questions about the structure of matter and about the fundamental forces that hold it together. However, it can only incorporate three out of the four forces that control the behavior of all matter, namely electromagnetism, the weak force, and the strong force. The fourth force, gravity, is still the odd one out. The gravitational force, the most familiar in our everyday lives, has proved very difficult to describe. For many years, this has been one of the most difficult problems in theoretical physics. Perhaps discoveries at the LHC will elucidate this mystery. To make a full confirmation of the standard model, scientists would have to find the particle that explains why particles have mass. Scientists predict the existence of a particle that would do exactly that. They have called this missing particle the Higgs boson after the British scientist Peter Higgs, who in 1964 first suggested that it must exist. If scientists find the Higgs boson, they can finally start understanding how mass is created. Physicists predict that the Higgs boson will disintegrate into recognizable particle pairs immediately after its creation. However, only high-energy collisions can make the Higgs appear. Some theorists also believe this new experiment will reveal a new fundamental physical symmetry referred to as supersymmetry. Still, other theories predict it might point to the existence of extra dimensions of the universe as we know it. One purpose of the ATLAS experiment is to capture data that will allow scientists to find the Higgs particle. From the surface, you see hardly anything. The 27-kilometer-long LHC and the ATLAS detector are buried deep underground, at depths ranging from 50 to 175 meters. The LHC accelerates beams of particles until they almost reach the speed of light. Two beams traveling in opposite directions circle the LHC 11,000 times every second. At temperatures of minus 271.25 degrees Celsius, or 1.9 degrees Celsius from absolute zero, a total of 1,800 superconducting underground magnets keep the beams on track. When the particles are brought to collision, a temperature equal to 100,000 times that of the sun is generated. This is the temperature prevailing a billionth of a second after the Big Bang. Relics of the early universe will spring fleetingly to life again. Four gigantic instruments called particle detectors are positioned in large caverns along the LHC accelerator. The particles will be made to collide inside the detectors and they will track, sort and analyze the data produced. ATLAS is the largest of the four. 
The 46-meter long and 25-meter high Atlas detector required extraordinary feats of engineering and collaborative work. It is one of the largest, most complex scientific machine ever built. New materials and technologies had to be invented for high-speed data acquisition or to create support structures able to be both light and strong. 37 governments put their faith in the hands of thousands of scientists. Over nearly 15 years, an increasing collaboration of scientists from all across the globe debated, investigated, analyzed, invented, and finally built millions of components that would constitute the Atlas detector. Particle energies are measured by a calorimeter. Because a large number of different families of particles are created from the collision, there are several types of calorie meters. In the case of Atlas, these are either arranged as barrels placed around the center or at the end of the detector. The 3,000-ton tile calorie meter is composed of steel and a special material that lights up when particles pass through it. The tile calorie meter was built in 14 different locations worldwide. It surrounds a second calorie meter that consists of lead and liquid argon, which is cooled to minus 180 degrees Celsius. This is known as the electromagnetic calorie meter. It specifically measures the energies of electrons and photons. Muons are specific subatomic particles that appear from the collisions of protons. They pass through the electromagnetic calorie meter and reach the outermost layers where they are recorded by the muon detector. If it were laid out flat, the muon detector would be around the size of seven football fields. Close to the heart of Atlas, several components called the inner detector are designed to measure the trajectories of passing charged particles with an inaccuracy of close to one hundredth of a millimeter. The inner detector measures the momentum of each charged particle. It consists of concentric layers of tracking detectors with the highest precision detectors closest to the collision point. The pixel detector uses advanced silicon technology that provides excellent radiation hardness. It is made up of 80 million pixel sensors in order to detect individual particle tracks produced in the collision. Outside the pixel detector is the semiconductor tracker, where the precise tracking of charged particles continues using layers of silicon microstrip sensors. Outside the semiconductor tracker, the final element of the inner detector is the transition radiation tracker. It is composed of 350,000 tubes filled with gas and coiled wires. Inside the transition radiation tracker are several detectors built out of silicon and divided into millions of thin strips and tiny pixels. Throughout much of the Atlas detector, there is an intense magnetic field. This is produced by passing current through more than 80 kilometers of superconducting cables housed within a large toroid structure. This enables Atlas to maintain one of the world's largest volumes of intense magnetic field. The construction is finished with the addition of further layers of detectors for measuring particles that reach the edges of Atlas. In reality, a scientist will not be allowed to walk through the open detector, but in this case it illustrates the sheer scale of the Atlas detector. Strangely, it takes a gigantic scientific project to enter this unimaginably small world.